when you say he was the first DJ in America, what, what do you mean by that? Al Jarvis got his first job when he graduated from high from Hollywood uh, from Hollywood from a college. He didn't know what he was going to do, and he looked in the paper and said, "Man wanted to talk on the radio," and so uh, he said, "Huh, I could do that." So he walked in and he knocked on this door, and he came in there, and there were these big vacuum tubes, you know, huge thing. And he walked in there, and he, and, and it was, he had to go in the back door. Oh, he answered the ad, and the guy said, well, so and so and so and so, but you got to come in the back door. Can't go in through the front. Came in the back door, and there's all these vacuum tubes in there, bigger than him. And he, and he came in the door, and he says, my God, what are these things? And he heard this voice say, those are vacuum tubes. That's what they give me. They, you need them to broadcast the radio. Okay. So anyway, he came around and uh, he said, I suppose you had a lot of people answering that ad. And the guy said, no, you're the first one. <laughs> and Jarvis said, really? And he says, yeah. And he said, well, I'd, I'd, I'd like to talk on the radio. And he said, well, uh, okay, when do you want to start? And uh, I said, oh, what am I supposed to do? He said, well, this is a microphone, and here's a little switch. You turn it on and off, and, uh, and so you just talk. That's it? And he said, and I said, uh, yeah, that's all. I said, oh, God. And how long do I have to talk? He said, well, the radio station is on the air for four hours a day. So you have to talk for four hours a day. I said, oh, God. And he said, okay, okay, okay I can do that. <clears throat> so the next day, we used to have three newspapers in this city. We had the Los Angeles Times, we had the Los Angeles Daily News, and then we had the Los Angeles Herald. And the Examiner, there were four. Okay, so Al bought all those newspapers, and he came in and opened the mic and started talking on the radio, whatever he could think about, you know, and he did, and then when he ran out of things to say, he started reading the newspaper, and so he, talked for four hours and uh and he was doing this for three or four days and the guy was loving it he said oh my god this is great you're just wonderful and he says yeah but jesus i get tired of talking and he said well that's what we got to do because people are listening how do you know well we think they are <laughs> okay so anyway al brought in see that thing that's what you call a Victrola. Can you get a picture of it? Okay. And that is basically a wind-up record player. And all the sound comes out of that huge speaker. And uh, you wind it up, put a record on there, drop the needle on the record, and uh, there are no electronics involved. Just the vibration of the needle and that speaker, whoosh, out it comes. So Al had a Victrola, and he brought his Victrola, and I guess he had some records. Records were this thick, by the way, and, that, you know. and uh, so whenever he got tired of talking, he says, and now I'm going to play a record for you. For those of you who don't know, a record is, <laughs> you can explain, and then put this thing on, and then so, so listen to uh, whatever, and the record play. And so it would be over, and then scratch, 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 and he said, oh, we've got to take it up. <laughs> and uh, so he began to play record.